All right, Wes, it is day one of the fair. I know, pressure's on. Yeah. State fair, like Mother's Day, Easter Sunday, uh, those are the high-pressure events for yeah. meteorologists around and here. And how are we looking? Well, we're looking good for today. Okay. It's not going to be a perfect weekend. We've still got a cold front, but I think you're going to like what happens after this weekend's cold front. Today, we started off with some rain, and as you can see, there's just a little bit left down in the Sand Hills. You guys getting some light rain down in Sampson County. Remember, we talked about a cloudy, wet morning, but a clearing afternoon. So what's going on with the clouds? Well, as we go over to the Carter-Finley PNC Complex, busy night there last night. A couple concerts over the next week. Canes are usually on the road during the state fair but right across the street from this complex is where the state fair is and we've got some clouds but it's dry 65 degrees let's head a little northwest you can see more sunshine as we take a live look at rdu where it's 68 and let's go even farther west to greensboro this is at uncg 68 degrees a nice mix of sun and clouds but i think it's going to be a great afternoon and evening if you are choosing today to head to the state fair so the trend will be Rain to move out, clouds to decrease as we go hour by hour through the rest of this afternoon. Temperatures topping out in the low 70s, very comfortable, clear skies, comfortable temperatures tonight falling into the 60s and eventually the 50s. And then we've got a warm day tomorrow because there are really only two things we're keeping an eye on on the big picture. One. The blob of rain that moved through this morning, that instigated by an area of low pressure down in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's moving out. And we've got to go all the way almost to the Rocky Mountains to find our cold front that'll be here on Saturday. So let's talk about what happens between now and then. We'll pick up future cast tonight at 7 o'clock when, after having clouds across the whole state in the last 24 hours, there should be mostly clear skies across the state, including here in central North Carolina by tonight. We'll keep it clear overnight. We'll start tomorrow morning, maybe with some fog, but again, lots of sunshine. Let's kind of zoom through the day Friday. Not a whole lot going on until we get into Friday night, where we will remain dry, but we'll start to see a few clouds return. Rain set to return on Saturday. Saturday morning, you can see we start off with a few passing showers. The cold front still back in the mountains. So from 7 a.m. Saturday, we'll stop it again midday. So we're going to have some waves of rain. It's probably not going to rain all day at your house Saturday. Could rain two or three different times, though. This is again at lunchtime. We'll go through the afternoon. Here we are at 3 o'clock Saturday. A couple more passing showers and then a drying trend as we get into the evening. This is at 6 o'clock Saturday. Front still hasn't made it through yet. But if you're going to the fair Saturday night, we have plans out Saturday night. I'd say more dry than anything. And then overnight, the front will move through, leaving us with... Cooler temperatures on Sunday and drying weather. So not only do we have the state fair, we've got a lot going on outside the next few days, including Friday night football. Our game of the week, Green Hope at Holly Springs. Again, we expect a dry day Friday, warm and in the mid-70s Friday night for kickoff, 7 or 7.30, depending on when and where your game is. And then Friday night games finishing up with temperatures in the upper 60s. So this cold front is going to bring us some rain Saturday, but it's also going to bring us another big drop in temperatures. Let's walk through what that's going to look like. We'll pick it up tomorrow afternoon when most of us will be well into the 70s. Maps go into motion. We get into Saturday afternoon. Some passing rain showers could fluctuate our temperatures, but... Saturday night into Sunday, that's when we get that blast of cold air. Highs only in the 60s Sunday afternoon. Monday morning when we head back to work and school, it will be chilly with widespread 50s, maybe even some 40s. So for the rest of today, clearing skies, drying weather, highs in the low 70s. Then tomorrow we're near 80 degrees with sunny skies. Saturday brings us the front, clouds, and a 60% chance of rain. Unfortunately, I think that's going to prevent us from seeing the partial solar eclipse here in central North Carolina. So if you really want to see that, you might have to leave the state. But Sunday looks great. Sorry, that timing's not going to work out. 68 for a high, 50 degrees Monday morning. We're only up to 63 on Monday afternoon. The rest of your exclusive 10-day forecast, that's a lot of 60s. That's some state fair weather. Looks good most of next week with just some small chances of rain by next Friday and Saturday. 